brand new uh, turnover choo choo. And that's one of those you hold it up to the light. Not gonna lie, I am a little overwhelmed. I knew what I was walking into, but I didn't know what I was walking into. I've never seen anything like this before. Like... Welcome to Pickin' and Punchin', and today we're going on a private pick. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting pick. And the reason for that is I went to a yard sale a couple weeks ago. Um, some lady, her sister passed away, and I helped her out with some comps on some sports cars she had. After we got talking, she said that she had another sister that passed away 22 years ago and that they had a massive Disney collection at their house that had 17 totes filled with stuff that hasn't been touched in over 20 years. They want to sell it all off. So I'm going to go out there. I have no idea. I haven't got any picks. I have no idea what I'm walking into, if it's good, if it's bad. So we're going to find out. So let's go. Beautiful area out here. I've never yeah. been out this way before. Never so. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. got you guys got a lot of stuff. Yes, we do. All right, so is this all the Disney totes here and stuff like that? They're all Disney. Okay. Yeah. Is so, is everything here that you guys want to get rid of them? Well, yeah, these totes here. These totes not here. Not that stuff. Not that over stuff there. there. Okay. All the Disney cups could go, but okay. Um, yeah. These are cool. National Lampoons. Yeah, there's. She saved everything. Yeah. It's just, just unreal what she saved. Roxy. And these are just all magazines in here? No, in there, there's just magazines. Okay. As far as I know. I okay. had went through the whole thing. Sure. She saved all the advertisements. They used to go to the um, stockholders meetings. Oh, okay. So they saved all that stuff. You know. 50 years. It's she didn't throw out part of it. <laughs> and you said this was your sister's stuff? Yep. Gotcha. Yeah, she passed away. She was only 58 when she passed away. Sure. She was there's, uh, there's some personal information here I'm going to put off the side. Okay. This is Bank of America stuff, but there's something Disney related in this. What's yeah, this? Walt Disney. Oh, late. Walt Disney investment plan. They're dividends that were paid out. <laughs> this is from 1984. She got paid. She had still only had 16 shares at that time. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of those plates that were made in the 80s are not, they were so overproduced. Yeah. Some of the stuff is just like bottle, this is a teether from. Yeah. She just, she picked up anything that had Disney on it. Yeah. She just picked it up. It's all kinds of baby stuff that they made. Do you guys have an idea in mind what you guys were looking for everything? No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Brand new underwear. Old Mickey Mouse pieces. Yeah. Some of this stuff is just hard to gauge because it's just so off the wall. Regular is this yeah. stuff in the tables too that you're looking to get rid of? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just saw the old, uh, some comic books. This is cool. The King Kong. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah, actually that really was, neat. That was pretty awesome. That's in good condition too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a giant classic King yeah. Kong. Just off the shelf to whatever one. What is, this? is this an old shirt? <laughs> Looks like jammies. Oh, yeah. Kids. That's super cool. <laughs> Did she have any old, like, um,. Um, like old shirts and stuff like that from Disney back in the day. There's, there's some things in here in the in the boxes. Um, I mean, like I said, all this stuff is at least twenty years old. Yeah. Probably twenty. I mean, so I mean, like stuff like this has got to be forty years old, yeah, fifty years yeah. old. I mean, this is, we're talking, this is probably seventies. <laughs> it's the most random things ever, like <laughs> Mickey Mouse shoe. In. What like? 
What even is this? Is it a car? That's cool. It just beat the hell. Well, that, I mean, that's the scene. There's still plenty. Because when I opened it up the first time, it was going around in the circle. And it thought, maybe this little Barbie for it. Oh, uh, they're four. Is damaged? Nothing like the Barbies nowadays. Oh, Mickey. Cowgirl. Corduroys. Neighborhood horses. Oh, there was one little thing in here that was pretty cool and, and has no date on it, but I know it's got gold. Oh, that's it's super gotta cool. Be old. Yeah. yeah. Sticker packs. Sticker packs can be, like, people like the old stickers. Yeah. Claws. Programs. Oh, this is cool. Rubik's Cube? Like, I have no... I had no idea that this paperweight was going to be worth what it was worth. This is actually from 1982, from their opening day. It's actually a paperweight of the original ticket. Some of this stuff is just so off the wall. Like... Is this sugar Disney sugar packs? <laughs> she was obsessed, huh? Yeah, she was. Uh, how how many times a year did she go to Disney? Oh gosh, at least four or five. You know, I mean, Christmas cards. These are actually like the um, wax cups, yeah, kind of. Yeah, the old Dixie cups. The old Dixie kind of cups. Thing. Now this is cool. The books, I pulled them up out of the bottom. Gotcha. She had all the little toys over there, but, and a lot of this stuff is advertising yeah. and catalogs and that kind of okay. stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, and this stuff was in that box. <laughs> I'm just, not gonna lie, I am a little overwhelmed. I wasn't, I mean, I knew. I I knew what I was walking into, but I didn't know what I was walking into. You know what I mean? It's one yeah. of those things. No, I agree. So these are just advertisements here yeah, and stuff. Okay. Promo items, and then was this stuff in this box? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Squeaky toy for a dog. Yeah. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. What is this? You know what was in this? in there. I didn't get a chance to open it. I was... The mystery bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's an ashtray. I think it's okay. an ashtray. Yeah. Oh. And that's one of those you hold it up to the light. And it, 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 see through it? Yeah. yeah. Filled this little Ziploc bag with packaging peanuts. <laughs> like, it's got to be bringing back some good memories for you. Go, really go, just, yeah. Going through yeah. all this stuff. I can see the smile on your face as we go through and we'll talk <laughs> yeah. about the stuff. It's, it's she like, had a passion for it. You oh, can just tell. It. What are these? Oh my god, it's soap. They're soap. Oh. <laughs> Bath soaps. Yeah. <laughs> and I know when we went on a cruise a few years ago with Salt the grandson. Pepper shakers. 
they gave you all kinds of soaps and lotions. So I'm sure when they went to she the just... Disney conventions and stayed overnight and stuff, that they, you know. What are these? Negatives. Yeah, it's Silver Springs, Florida. Oh, okay. They're just, they're, they're a commercial release. Well, I can't imagine how much money she spent just shipping this stuff up to my house. Yeah. You know, I mean, we lived in Illinois at the time. Oh, she, oh, so you actually, this was all sent to Illinois and then you brought it back down with you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've had this stuff for, well, we've lived down here for 22 years now, and I had it for probably six years before then. So this has been in storage for 25 plus years? Oh, yeah. The parts are in there because okay. I've seen them. <laughs> like, there's... Some of the parts are over here from this one, but I know I've seen the head and some of the other stuff than one of the other ones, so it's like those collector things These cards? there, yeah. Okay, let me look They actually, you know, had it priced higher. There's two sets of them in there. Okay. So one sold for 70, one sold for 100, one sold for 70. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So you were right, though. Was something valuable? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's just. Whew. Like I said, it's overwhelming. I, it is. Like he doesn't get on the computer. Gotcha. So he doesn't know how long it can take you to go through some of that stuff. Oh, it could take forever. Yeah. I spend more, when I should be listing items online, I spend yeah. more time sometimes doing research, research. and listing. Unfortunately, right. yeah. this is cool. Here's an all kind of pro see this only had two big boxes in this one over here. What is this? This is new. This is brand new uh turnover choo choo. Like this this one right here, this place is from 83. I was telling Harry when you're dealing with old toys, having the box is almost just as important as actually having the toy because, oh, I know, yeah. because the box sometimes the box can bring more value than the toy because it's, right. it's harder to find the actual box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> card what's this a pencil sharpener <laughs> uh, I'm okay I had some water in my, my car okay. 1973 the pool along like a jigsaw puzzle Yeah. Yeah, our daughter had. Yeah. She a lot of them last year. Probably two full totes of stuff. Yeah. I did see some of the things. Oh, God, please don't tell me this is still in here. It's chocolate. Oh, okay, yeah. But the, I see stuff. Go in the house. Real mess. That would have been, uh, would have been a nightmare. Disaster, yeah. But look, she like that's all I'm talking about. Just random weird things. Like the box is cool. You know, I probably could just sell off the box because people like the old advertisement. Hey, I'm gonna take a quick break from this video because I want to get back to you. I appreciate all the support you guys have been doing for us. We found some crazy items in this video. We want to share them with you. So what we're gonna do on 8:23 on whatnot? It is gonna be an all free show. That's right, free, free, free. Click on the link down in the description down below. The show is going to be on Wednesday, 8.23 at 7.30 p.m. All you have to do there is be there live, give us a follow, and we're going to give away a bunch of these items you guys see today for free. Definitely. There are certain things only stockholders could buy. Walt Disney Productions, made in USA. Old shirt. Like this. This is the bank. This is super cool. Yeah, it is. Some little theater, you get the kick out of that one. Oh, absolutely. This would be someone would actually buy this. It's from 1971 that had this as a kid. 
and they'd put it right up on their shelf just like you have there and just display it, you know? Yeah, because it's changed so much. Yeah. Uh, this box is mostly just all plates, and, the, and there's a garbage can in this one. Oh, it's two garbage cans? Yeah. Was it one, another one inside this one? The box of, of syringes? That must have been from my sister's farm. When they have to give the uh, pigs and stuff uh, shots. Yeah. More plates. Some plush. Puzzle postcard. Huh. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. I deal with a lot of collectors and uh, they all had the same mindset where you start collecting, you start collecting a certain thing, but then it's the hunt that's the fun part for you. And then you start collecting everything and then you complete what you want and then you're like, well, what else can I get? And then you start getting this, this. Then you just start buying stuff just to buy stuff at, at some point. And trust me, I, I'm the same. Get it. Yeah. Well, I definitely wouldn't want to run it into this. No, I, I appreciate it. Or, uh, we used to, when we first moved here, there was quite a few of them because of... Cut stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw Sammy Sosa. Is that Sammy? No, oh, that's Ernie Banks. Does it come with the COA? Um, uh, like proof that it was autographed or certificate or anything with it? No, the only thing I got proof is this thing here. The wall of pain, yeah. yeah. Is that Dan Is this Dan Berry Mint? Yeah, Dan Berry Mint. Watch out, That's not good, okay. Do you have the box for it too? No, I don't think it came in a box, to be honest. I think it originally came in a box. Oh, did it? Yeah. Because yeah, they, they had to ship oh, that okay. some one way or another. Yeah, okay. What year is this? Dan Berry Mint. Do it's probably up in the attic. Yeah. Okay. Paid $72 in, in 2003 yeah. for that. Do you have any more figurines like that, or is that it? No, that Do you have any more Jordan stuff? I, just, I, I love Jordan, that's why I was curious. Right I know, I saw that. I saw that one and I saw this I one here. Bowl stuff here. Yeah. I, that's, sold, I sold some of this stuff, I think, at the garage side. Uh, this, is, this is a good rod man. I know. They're, they're, those are cool. You're a big Chicago fan, huh? Used to be. I, I mean, as back, a, especially back in the old days. I was a, a huge fan of Frank Thomas back in the day. The Big Hurt, man. Like, how could you not be a big fan of the Big Hurt? See, that one's certified by Upper Deck. So that one has, has that would have some more value with it because it has a certification from Upper Deck. Right. It's a limited number on there. Even though this is busted. The frame's all right. It's coming apart. I think the guy put some glue on it. Super glue yeah. or something on there. Yeah, uh, Tiger Woods. Yeah, that's what we got over here. I got some Tiger Woods. These are the upper deck cards on there. Yeah, is this is from upper deck. No. But yeah, these are, I think, yeah, these are the upper deck. When they did the, I think it was uh, 99 or no, 2000, 2001, I forgot the year. Yeah. Um, they actually released a whole series of, of uh, golf cards, but like, there was like literally 15 or 20 different Tiger Woods cards mm -hmm. in that set. So when it comes to the old magazines, the only thing that slightly hurts the magazines is that when you have this on the bottom. So what actually brings a higher price for magazines when you get the newsstand version of it, which is the one you had bought from the newsstand, yeah. which didn't have the actual actual thing on it. But that's cool. This is for the the 
Disney stuff. Yeah, Disney stuff only. Was that part of the Disney stuff too? It was in the box. Oh, it was in the box. Um, 600 bucks. If you guys need to talk to, yeah, you can well, step you away. Sell it yeah, so I mean, I'm gonna. Six I'm, five. Yeah, 650? Yeah, I'll do 650, that's fair. How about any of the other stuff? You need? Oh, yeah, so that was, I wanted to do yeah, that first, so we, we had that done. Yeah. So. so, I would be interested in this. That's definitely interesting in that. Just smaller. I mean, that would be a leaf thing, I think. I, just, I had it out there. I'll better find that paperwork out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then what is this? Yeah, I'd be interested in this. I'm interested in this. These are just easy, like, flag yeah. stuff. Um, I'd be interested in these two here. Yeah, that's what from somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... Um, let's see here. These over here. I mean, I mean, I would be interested in these. I mean, I'd give you a couple bucks for these, but uh, if you're looking just to move them, what would you want for this stuff here in this pile? We got right here. What are you thinking of? All this? I've actually had this posted before. Have you? Yeah. This is actually when Jordan made his when he's wearing number 45. So I've actually, I not framed. I actually had a regular poster before, which I got 15, 20 bucks for. Just, a, just a, like an actual right. poster of it. Uh, so I know these were looking like 10, 15 bucks total for those yeah, things. Right. 95 bulls, and then this is just a Miller like giveaway promotion. Right. We said that was. Let me see. Make sure there's no damage to this. I didn't really look at it. What comes out to it. So I'd probably value that at like about 60 to 75 bucks, the figure. I would offer you like 100 bucks for, for, for everything. Alright. Yeah. What, what were you thinking, you think, on that stuff? That's, I'm, I'm not talking about any of that stuff. This is just, yeah, just for your stuff there. What were you, th I mean, what would you, th what would you be comfortable with? Say 125 or something like that. You know what, you guys give me a deal on that stuff. I'll do that for you. I think it's fair. I mean, you no, shake on that, no, so. All right, so you six fifty. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty. Thank you. Uh, you one twenty five. One twenty. Five. When you come across a massive collection like this, it's really mind blowing, and it's really difficult to actually come up with the price. Normally, at the end of our videos, I let you know what we pay for items and what it's all worth. And to be honest with you, we paid 650 bucks for all these Disney items and about 125 bucks for all the sports items. We have about 775 bucks into this entire purchase, but I have no idea what it's worth. I know that it's valuable. I know that I can make some money off it. To be honest with you, you can't find comps or dog toys that are brand new from 1984 from Disney or baby teethers from 1986. So we have a ton more to go through. You guys only saw a small portion of it. So make sure you guys join us on Flippin' and Punchin'. It's our second channel. In the description down below, I'll put a direct link to that as well. All you have to do is follow us. We're gonna drop a video this Monday coming up and we're gonna dig through some of these totes and show you everything that we do find. And we find some crazy items. As always, I appreciate your guys' support. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Hit that little bell up top for that notification so you know when our new videos are dropping. And until next time, Make sure you guys keep picking and punching.